the Lord say? Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to come up for the 92nd Division of Psalms. It says, it is good, a good thing, to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises with thy name. Oh, most high, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. In thy faithfulness every night. I have read to you the first and second. May God have listened to the readers and doers of the Amen. Amen. And then enter the hands of the music I'm going to put your hands together this morning. I'm going to put your hands together this morning. We come to give him praise. We come to bless his name. Hallelujah. We come to give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, make some noise for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. God is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Not enough noise for Jesus. Come on, put your hands together and give God a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Come to bless him. Hallelujah.
today. Amen. And take your residence in your place. Hallelujah. So I dare you when you're having an issue and you need some help. Give God some praise. He's got a plane ticket. Come on now. He already got a bus ticket. Metaphorically what I'm saying is that 
He's there for you. Amen. At this time, we're going to call for the fragrance of this house. None other than the anointed, accomplished, amen, first lady of the church, of the Revival Center Church of God in Christ. Let's clap our hands for a big God bless you for our first lady, Lady Shawnee's parents. Amen. Let's clap our hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. At this time, we're going to turn it back over to the hands of the music ministry and say amen, everybody. Thank you. 
May the rich blessings of God and his grace rest upon you. And may you enjoy the confidence and support of your brothers and sisters. Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Lord God, as we have come together in this elevation of this great, awesome brother. We ask, Lord, that you put your hands upon him in the name of Jesus and use him in a great and mighty way. And in all that he has put out and all that he has given, Lord, we want you to bless him. For you said in your word that if we give, it'll be given back to us. And you said good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give unto you. So God, we're asking, oh God, that you just bless him immensely. Hallelujah. And we thank you for him. We praise you for him. And we ourselves honor him in the mighty matchless name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost in Jesus name we pray thank God Amen First, I want to give honor to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for your support, your love, your prayers. Uh, thank you for this honor. Uh, it's a blessing to go higher in the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. so I can be worthy and uh, serve in this office and, uh, with the help of my pastor fellow deacon Jesus Christ uh, and with God's help ultimately with God's help so I just I just thank you today thank you for this honor Come on, give our newly elected deacon a hand, y'all. We support you. We stand with you. Amen. And we honor you on today. And from this day forward, Deacon Singleton is a great man of God. And we just love him. He's humble. And he stays before God. You can tell. Amen. We just praise God. And a privilege to serve with him. 
Amen. And we just thank God for him and this great honor on today. One more time, give our new elected deacon a hand. This time we're going to move forward in the service. Amen. Not going to change the spirit. Amen. But it is offering time, you all. It is time to give. That's it. I heard one hand. Somebody clap up. Because not only is it time to give, but this is our time to receive. Amen. One water, one plant, but God gives the increase. Amen. The Bible lets us know when we give, it'll be given back to us in good measure. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. What men give it to your business. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I look for a blessing. Every day when I wake up, I'm blessed. Amen. And I look for a blessing. Why? Because God said it. Amen. He said that he would open up a window of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we wouldn't have room enough to receive. And God's way is not the same as ours. We think a window. And we look at a window and say, well, that's a pretty small blessing. But God's window is unlimited in size. Amen. God's window is unlimited in what he can put out of it. I've watched God open up a window and pour out a whole car. Amen. I've watched God open up a window and pour out a whole house. Did it land on somebody? Oh, I know one thing. It one landed on me. Amen. And I know because I looked out in the parking lot on the day and I watched the saints of God. I know that I'm not the only one that he poured out on, but he poured out on y'all. Can I get a witness? Has God been good to you? Has God opened up windows? Has God opened up doors? Has God made ways? Oh, if he's done it, you ought to clap your hands and give him glory. He's been good. So this is our opportunity to give to God to give to this house and to be a blessing to this house. Amen. I can't say be a blessing to the pastor or our first lady. They're not lying in their pockets. And that's why the ministry is so blessed. Because they give more than anybody in this building. And I thank God for them leading the way and giving us that example and that way that we are to give. Amen. And I thank Him for it because by his teaching we have been blessed. God has blessed us for being obedient. Amen. So all stand to their feet at this time. And we are going to give today to this house, to the house of God. Amen. At this time, we're going to turn to the hands of our deacon. So you may read our scripture and pray the blessing on the offering. Get your offering and your tithes in your hand. Over here to my uh, 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 left, your right, you may get my card swipe. Malachi chapter 3, starting at verse 8, says, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offering. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now where here will save the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you, for you shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Lord God, we ask that you bless this offering. Bless this land. Give, bless them that have a heart to give, but may not have. Help them to be able to give on the next time. And let this be used for your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. You are in the hands of our usher as our leader is giving first. Amen. 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 Come on, saints, let's be a blessing to the house, into the hands of the usher. We are leading by example. Thank you, leaders. Thank you, leaders. God bless your heart. God bless your heart. God loves the cheerful giver.
Seven after prayer at six. And so Only an hour. And for our um, new members and people that are not able to kind of be around as much, this is another great way to get to know the members of the church. I know for us ladies, we're able to talk candidly and just have a girl talk with our first lady and our missionary who we love. But as Pastor said, that I want to say to the women, this is our meeting. So if the men won't do that thing behind the door, but if you wanna, if you want us to have food, our women, we can have food. So, because it's gonna be seven o'clock in the time, right? So, if that's what you want, just bring your suggestions. This is our meeting. This is not my meeting. This is the first lady. This is the women's meeting. Well, you show me how they can we share. Amen. Huh? Um, also, on Wednesday nights, we now have Bible study and dinner. So, dinner is served at five thirty. Um, so if you would like to eat, we ask that you come just a little bit early at 5.30 so that we are able to get the food prior to Bible study beginning at 6 p.m. Our Young Men of Valor Real Talk Ministry will be starting this month. Beginning, amen. Uh, Brother Tony, hold your hand. Brother Tony is going to be the leader of this new youth ministry for young men ages 11 through 19. The very first session will be Saturday, February 12th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And Young Men of Valor will meet every second and fourth Saturday at Revival Center. Each session will include bullying, peer pressure, anger, and other social and spiritual topics that they can openly discuss in a safe and judgment-free environment. Please see Brother Tony Williams to get your sons signed up for this awesome and inspiring new ministry which will free our young men up and help them on their journey to manhood. Yeah, the theme yeah. scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 15 through 16. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. So we're very excited for this new ministry. Again, the first session will be February 12th which is a Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. And for our young ladies, um, ages 12 to 17, our purity class schedule this month will be Wednesday, February 9th, and Wednesday, February 23rd, which is the second and fourth Wednesdays. So I am the purity teacher for now, um, and if there's anyone that would like to be a part of purity, you can see me, um, and we can see how you can help. Please let me know ahead of time if any of your girls need picked up for class um, and we can arrange a ride for them. And this month we're going to plan to continue the conversation that we started on Martin Luther King Day surrounding business and career planning and how that ties into the scriptures. Um, Habakkuk 2 uh, verses 2 and 3 and Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. So again, that's going to be this Wednesday and then the fourth Wednesday, February 23rd. Coming up this month also is our district meeting, um, which will be February 23rd through the 25th in Leavenworth, Kansas. Amen. We are a part of the Azusa District. Our missionaries night, uh, missionary guide, everyone knows who you are, but you can still wave your hand. Amen. So our missionary is the district missionary of the Azusa District, so this is also her meeting. 
Amen. So we want to be sure to support her. There will be a van going on Thursday the 24th and Friday the 25th. So if you are interested in riding on the van, you can see myself or First Lady or maybe Sister Toya. Um, if you're interested, and we can make sure that you have a seat on the van. So again, that's going to be the 24th and the 25th in Leavenworth, Kansas. Sorry, we have a lot of announcements today, so bear with me. Coming up on fourth Sunday, we will be wearing our African attire in honor of Black History Month. Yes! Amen. Yes! So missionary guy is encouraging us to wear our African attire, um, and that'll be fourth Sunday. And I believe we will also be having something in celebration of Black History Month as well. Lastly, we want to acknowledge all of the February birthdays. So if you have a birthday this month, I know we have one Sweet 16 coming up. Amen. Sister Genesis, my favorite. She doesn't want to stand up, but everyone knows who Genesis is. And uh, Elder Lattimore is about to pass out. So happy 16th birthday, Genesis. We love you. Um, and at this time, if there are no other birthdays, we invite any visitors to stand and be acknowledged by our pastor. Okay, looks like everyone is at home, so we'll turn it back into the hands of the giver. Amen. What great announcements we have. I was sitting there thinking, no, 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 don't get nervous. Well, I was sitting there thinking, and I just began to think back over my life uh -huh. and all the things that the Lord has done for me. And I just got a question. I know he's done a whole bunch for me. I probably couldn't tell it all if I tried. But can y'all take just a second to think over your own life? Can y'all think of the times that the Lord spared your life? Yes, sir. Can you think of the times that we escaped death? Can we think of the times that we escaped prison or getting, you know, whatever the case may be? Can we just think about that? I know I'm not the only one in here that the Lord has done so. Come on, Mr. 
give God a praise in the house. Come on. Come on, let's give God a praise. Come on, let's give God a praise. Come on, let's give God a praise. Come on, let's give him 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 a Hallelujah. We bless the Lord this morning.
our feet all over the building as we receive our leader, our shepherd, Pastor Andy Cameron Speaker. All are standing to their feet. Time has been far spent, so I vow not to be too long. Not a long-winded preacher anyway. But 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 reads, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Then 1 Peter 2 and 9, it reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, and ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous Life. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Heavenly Father God, we come to you once again in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Thanking you for all that you are, all that you've done, and all that you're going to do. Lord, we're asking, God, that you just take control. Move me out of the way. Because these are your people. They don't belong to me. I ask that you touch my body. Give me strength right now, Lord. And I thank you. For I'm going to give my all to your people. In Jesus' name I pray. And I thank you. Amen. We're going to take for the subject. Look at that neighbor, somebody next to you, and tell them, neighbor, I don't want to fit in. I don't want to be. I know that's right. Some folks cry, fight, pound, act a fool because they don't fit in. Wow. Just like we ain't got nothing in common. I don't look like them, don't talk like them, don't walk like them, don't none of that. Y'all hear me? Yes. But see, my thing is, I don't care. I don't care whether I fit in or not. Else. And because of that, I done got kicked out of church. Because of that, they're going to be watching on Facebook and YouTube, but that's all right. I done got kicked out of jurisdiction, and I don't care. Because I'm going to be who God called me to be. See, one thing we do, we come from the streets, we come from the world, we come from wherever we come from. And, and out there, we was pretty tough. Step on my foot in the club, it's going to be a problem. Come on now. If I leave, Jeray, I got to come back. And you better be gone. But now, when we done came over to the church, Somebody even look at us the wrong way we run out. We don't know how to stand still. We don't know how to come back and give what we got. Oh, y'all ain't understanding that. But not realizing that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but rather mighty through the Spirit of God to the pulling down of the strongholds. 
So if there's something wrong, all you need to do is make sure that you are full of the Spirit of God. But the problem is we're taking too much time being drunk with rum. Uh-oh. This ain't no good, is it? But the Bible says, be not drunk with wine. But be ye filled with the Spirit. See, a lot of us got that case, that bad case of the I can't help us. Brittany knew that was coming because that was her favorite words, I can't help it. But I want you to understand, you can help it. You gonna sit there and act like you don't got control over yourself? No, the problem is you gonna help what you wanna help. Oh, y'all ain't gonna like me today. You ain't gonna sit there and urinate all over yourself. You can help that. You ain't gonna sit up and mess all over yourself. You can help that. See, you're gonna help what you wanna help. But the things that you don't wanna help, huh? Lord, I'm tired of singing this song. I done sung this song more since I've been preaching than I did in the world. But they said, I get so weak in the knee. I can hardly speak. I lose. Uh, but they can't help it. Because they done got weak in the knee. Yeah, you better start doing some exercise, baby. Huh? Better strengthen them. Because you don't let every Tom, Dick, and Harry in between them. Uh-oh, y'all ain't liking this type of preaching today. Yeah. I, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But we let everything get in between us and God. And on last week I preached, and the message that God gave me to preach is that freedom is a choice. And we seem to forget that freedom is a choice. See, if we couldn't help it, God wouldn't have told us to choose you this day. That's it. That's it. Whom we will serve, whether it be God, oh my God, or the God of our forefathers. See, the truth be told, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So that means all of us have served those other gods. All of us. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I had to uh, kind of show Sister Evelyn something. She go test me <laughs> this morning. Don't tell me what she can do. I said, I can do it too. She said, well, if you can do it, it said, be also ready. So what I do, I got ready and I put the bars out there. <laughs> And I tell her, I told her, Ray, I used to be the first one in the club and the party turning it up. Yeah. Sometimes sitting in the gut, other times on the dance floor, turning it up. Turning it up. Yes, you hear me? Yeah. I used to do it. I've been there and done that. So I served that God. Wow. That's right, that's right, that's right. Come on. Work your case. But now that I'm over here, I found out that can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, Chase used to say it real good. They say, pick me up. Yeah. See, some of you look and depend for other people to pick you up. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't going to like this. Oh. 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 Y'all ain't going to like me today. But let me tell you something. If you're depending on Negroes, you always gonna be messed up. Because at some time or another, they're gonna let you down. But I heard the word of God say that Jesus will never leave you. Never leave you alone. Or he'll be a paracletos. 
In other words, he'll always be right beside you, just as long as you let him. Not only will he be that paraclete, but he will also be on the inside if you allow him. Come on, somebody. So he will never leave you nor forsake you. But man will leave you. They will let you down. Oh, my God. So I want us to understand, whoo, glory to God, that we have to get to the point to where we simply don't want to fit in. I don't want to fit in. Another scripture, Brother Tony, I wish I could have could have just read, I'm just going to quote it. But it says, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. That's why it tells us it, our description yes. is different. Yes, Lord. It says we're a royal priesthood. Yes, yes. Royalty even when you ain't got no money in your pocket. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. But you got something that money can't buy. Amen. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. Yes, it ain't nothing like holiness. Because without holiness, no man can see the law. See, the Bible says your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. But I tell you what, only holiness is going to bring you before God. I know this ain't my, 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 my but I'm preaching today. So, we are a peculiar people. We don't look like everybody else. We don't act like everybody else. People looking at us thinking it's strange. It's strange how we do what we do. Huh? But see, what we got to do is not forget where we come from. See, because they always say that Christians are so judgmental. But the truth be told, we're judged more than anybody. Yes, but see, you got to make sure that you don't forget where you come from. Yes, because if you forget where you come from, you don't know where you are. Oh, yes. If you forget where you come from, you don't know where you are. Yes, and if you don't know where you are, how can you know where you're going? Are y'all catching this? Yes, yeah. yes, Hallelujah. So don't forget where you come from. Right. Because you'll mess around and become judgmental. Yes. Yes, See, they doing different things right now. They don't do it like they used to do, Brother Tony. They doing it a little different. So the way we used to get down, we used to do it. That's right. That's right. We used to do it. Now they look crazy. But they're trying to take some of the things we used to do. Uh, Y'all <laughs> better get up out of here. They're trying to take what we used to do. So I want you to understand, don't forget where you come from. Because if you forget where you come from, there's no point of communication between you and the world. See, we're in the world, but not of the world. But you got to understand that you are in the world for a reason. You're in the world to work the works of him that sent you out of this day. For the night time is going to come when no man is going to be able to work. And what is that work? It is to win souls for Christ. Come on, somebody. And he said, all souls are mine. See, we can't be like Jonah and turn around and say who can be saved and who can't. We can't be like Jonah saying they don't look good, they don't look right, something's wrong with them. But you got to get out of here with that judgment. Because back in the day, you was alive. Probably still lying now. Back in the days, you was a hope. <laughs> You probably said, uh oh. <laughs> he is a new creature. Thank you. Old things. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout old 
things. You better get up off me, Roman. Old things. The stuff that was back then. That was BS. Before salvation. Y'all better catch that. I ain't cussing. I had to say it real quick before y'all run up out of here. That was BS. Before salvation.
because of all of your kingdom. That's why I don't fit in. Because I don't know what I used to work. I don't know what I used to know. Somebody shout it. Because that old man is still there. That's why you got to die daily. But it take a little longer to round me up. Somebody shout yes, sir. That's why I tell my children, stay in the house. Don't go nowhere. Don't tempt me. But glory to God, even when they do. something she do. <laughs> she remember when they called me the monster. When I come in the house drunk and messed up, they would hide because they knew I was going to tear something apart. They were scared because I was going to go crazy. But if anybody be in crime, See, all my homies did the same thing. We all was robbing. We all was fighting. We all was shooting. But right now, I don't fit in. They ready to do something. I come around and they get ready to do something. You know what they start doing? They start putting their bottles down. They put their cigarettes out. They put down the blunt, and if they slip and cuss, they say, oh, excuse me. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And, and see, because I don't fit in. That's it, that's it. See, the problem is that we got to know who we are. That's right, that's right. And this is the last thing I'm going to deal with right here. You got to know who you are. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. know who you are. See, we as Christians are the light of the world. That's it, that's it. And nobody, nobody. lights a candle or brings forth a lamp and then throws it under the bed and covers it up. But what they do with a light, they put it up on a shelf so that everybody in the room can see. So know who you are. That's it. When people see you, they got to see a good person. They got to see the God in you. They got to see that you love. They got to see that you different. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So whenever a light is turned on, what happens? Darkness flees. It runs. It tries to stick in the room a little bit. It hides. And the way it try to stick in your in the room, it's your shadow. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I ain't got time right now, because if I did, I would preach that message I preached a while back ago on shadows. But he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the 
special. The apostle's shadows was healing. So turning darkness into light. Your shadow becomes a reflection of you. Darkness becomes a reflection of you. Oh my God, I wish I could preach today. So I don't fit in. Mm. But because we are the light of the world, and we are who we are, light shines in darkness. Darkness does not comprehend it. Wow. But what we do, come on somebody, yes, we do not bend, we don't fold, mm. we don't become the world, yes, but the world becomes us. Darkness becomes light. When you do what you're supposed to do, you will turn the world upside down. See, people don't know what hit them when you're doing the right thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I think I'm going to end it right here. But I have given you what he gave me to give. I got to apologize that I didn't preach like I usually do. But I had to give what he gave me. Y'all got that? Hallelujah. So I give God the glory. And we got to know, don't feel bad if you don't fit in. But simply, just be who God has made you to be. Be yourself. Be yourself. Thank God for my daughter's fiance. And I thank God for my, yeah, yeah Brother Kenneth said our usher, he, he, it will one day. And I thank God for my grandson's father. Yeah. Nobody like him, he a little different. Yeah. God is a little different, he talk different. His voice is different. And, and when, he, when he talk, he ain't trying to change it for nobody. He ain't trying to speed up his tongue. He ain't trying to act like nobody else. He just be himself. <laughs> and because he is who he is, I love him for who he is. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Be who God has made you to be. And don't change for nothing. Let's give the Lord a hand for you. Deacon Glenn, as we are doing the Lord's Supper here, and we're going to dismiss immediately after, what I want to do is I have used this for a while, and, I, and it's really something to get what someone else has had. Because it really means something. I can buy you a brand new one and you can have two of them. But after we go, we're going to do it right after. After we're through, this is going to be your manual. I want you to study it. I want you to look at it. I want you to it, you get all the good understanding you can. Because I'm giving it to you. Let's give the Lord a hand, praise. We're going to give it to the one that, after 30 years, has been in church shouting, dancing, being the big old hypocrite. But now he finally done got himself saved. Come on now. Come on now. 
And listen, people was looking up to him back then. But you know now people are calling him, asking, can you preach my mother's service? Can you be here for me? Can you come to the hospital pray? Can you, can you deal with my children? Can you do this and can you do that? See, when you really make a change, it's going to show and people going to see it. And God's going to open up some doors that no man is going to be able to close. So let's Give him praise. Thank you, Lord. And as as we know, we are clean by the word. That has already been spoken to us. So I'll tell you one thing, if you didn't get it, oh my God. I don't know what to tell you. Because it was pretty clear. Don't change who you are. The Lord created you. He knows you. And everything that He created and put in you. As we yield our members to the world, we need to yield them to Christ likewise. So use all of those skills, everything that the Lord has placed in you. We was bold in the world, Pastor said. We wouldn't let nobody talk to us no kind of way. We wouldn't do this. We wouldn't do that. We, we was uh, strong when we was in the world. We was uh, uh, tough and everything. But we come into the church and we want to change up. But as we yielded our members to the world, as we acted in the world, bring them to Christ. Let the Lord use you. Be bold. Know that the Lord will word your mouth, give you what to say, how to say it, and when to say it, and what to do. So take that word, that word that the Lord gave us through our leader, and, and feast on that. Amen. Come back tomorrow, because I'm sure, I'm sure there will be an overflow of the word. Monday nights is when he does that. So we are going to do the communion. And the communion represents what our Lord and Savior did for us. It represents the body and the blood of Jesus.